Hey, it's Marvin here, and Maria, my wife. And today we're going to be installing um, the soft top latches on our 2001 Miata. And the reason why we're installing the latches is because we're having a problem with air getting uh, inside and creating like a really loud noise. So here as you can see it's like perfectly uh, like flush and over here there's a big gap. So hopefully by getting new latches it uh, helps out. And the latches weren't cheap. They were $251 at eBay. Uh, but we have them right there. And our latches are going to be on the left and on the right. And we're also replacing them because they're cracked. So we're going to do that now. So like I said, we got these off eBay. And they come in this uh, box here. And according to the guy that sold this, uh, these items, they're brand new. They look a little different from the ones that we have, but they do have that original Mazda sticker on the back. That's one latch. It's brand new here. And we also have this in the background because we are going to make another installation video on installing a double den in the car. So that's the other one. That's two latches, and it's going to be a simple setup. It's just going to be removing the three um, Phillips screws, the three Phillips screws that go in the latch in the car, and we're just going to remove those and add these on. So we're going to be removing these three screws here. So it should be super fast, nothing too crazy. And I'll be showing you the differences and the latches and how they're designed differently. Well, at least I, I think they're designed differently. But here's one. There's another one there. Here's another one here. And I should make it come up. And I'm doing this with the roof up. It just makes it easier for me. It's hot outside and I don't want to burn up. So here is some problems that we have with this one. Uh, this one has a little uh, Phillips screw there, and it creates the lock here. But, like, there's a gap there, because it's not creating a perfect uh, locking mechanism. And this little nipple thing here is um, not, it's cracked, because the other one's supposed to have the plastic over it, and it's supposed to create a, a seal up here. And it's not creating a seal, because it's just cracked here. And besides that, there's other cracks here. Let's see. Where did I see him before? Um, I forgot where they were, but they're, they're pretty much cracked everywhere. There's a crack in between this here. Um, so might as well just replace them. Super expensive for just like some spring loaded and plastic. Um, and it'll be the same thing for the other side, so. Take those off. Nothing too hard here, guys, so. <laughs> and here's the third one here. And careful it doesn't fall on you. You want to make sure it's unlatched, too, so you can, it's easy to come out. There you go. So these are the old latches. These are the new latches. So um, as I was saying here, like these just come out so they don't lock. And with these, they have that locking mechanism, so they stay in place. And the only way you can unlatch it is just by pressing here and then, like, pull it back. So um, we're going to install these. And then these, I might sell them on eBay uh, for really low cost because I'm pretty sure people can repair these. But I don't want to deal with that. So we'll start with this one. We're going to unlatch it. And it should be the same way we took the other one. And then there's like a little uh, little sticks here that they just go in place. And put our screws back on. And 
you make sure you're putting your screws on correctly. You don't want to cross thread these because then you'll pretty much be fixing a, uh, a cross thread or you're replacing the latch. Not the latch, the soft top. So it's on there. So we'll do the left side first. Not too tight, and then we're gonna do the right side. Not too tight yet, and then we'll do the top one. And then we're gonna tighten them all. So I'll start with the left side. And then the right side. And then the top right. And then we'll start with the other one. So oh, upside down. Oops. And sorry if this one's taking me a little longer. I'm doing it from the driver's side while my wife films here on the passenger side. So we're both angled all weird. going in is it not going in there it is so it's on we need to tighten them up and on the passenger side we're gonna start with the right side so we don't want to tighten it up all the way first and then we're gonna do the left side and the bottom and then the top left and then after they're nice and snug we're gonna tighten all of them so we'll tighten the right side Tighten the bottom left and tighten the bottom, the top left. So let's go outside and see if this fixes our problem. But it looks like it actually closed the gap. And the only way is to test it. So you can kind of see here there's less gap. There's still a little small gap, but hopefully there's not enough of a gap to have the air go in. And that one's like super flush. So. I might have to adjust how tight they close, but as you can see now, now I can press this little button here to unlatch it. So press that button there, and this comes out. And then this is me closing it. It looks like it's super tight, but it does this locking mechanism, so now it doesn't come apart. Not come apart, but you know, get loose. And that concludes the video. The video. Uh, next, uh, look into us installing a double din in the Miata. Take care, guys.